Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to some more Alan Wake. So guys, um, still on episode 3. We beat the bulldozer. Yes, beat the bulldozer. And now we're heading to the coal mine to meet with the kidnapper, so let's I would go. meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Alright, so right now we're driving to the coal mine, so let's roll. Yeah. Without realizing look at, look how, it, I'd come to believe that at, the story in the manuscript oh was coming look at, true. Look how fast Alan's the going. Current current narrative had taken me deeper and deeper <laughs> into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. Oh, shit. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. God, guys, just yeah. I hope you guys understand the driving. I mean, think about it. Okay, I don't know if I... I'll go take a visit up there just to see. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. You guys don't... You guys probably don't want to know where the stuff are, but hey. Why not, guys? Why not? Just see what's here. I don't know if there's like a way up you can go or not, but... Oh, look. There's another car here, so we'll just take this car. We'll see what's in here anyway. Could be a page, could be anything. Oh, even better, a radio. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of oh, yeah, that's right, you for that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G Man <laughs> with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily oh, yeah. in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but. I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Alright, let's go. So yeah, some guys should not carry badges. That is correct. How did this FBI dickhead got it? I don't know. But anyway, let's go. So we're taking another- Oh, fuck. Wow. Just, wow. Seriously, the driving. I don't know what's worse, driving big cars or lighter cars, but I guess it doesn't make any difference. Right, look, you could probably just fall- Yeah. Oh, no, never mind, you can't. I was thinking, because these fences are, I think they're a bit breakable, so. I think if you just run into it hard enough, I think it will break. Look, you can even probably go off the edge if I like good, but I don't want to, because I don't want to waste any time. Oh my gosh, this fucking truck is so slow. I should have just stayed in the other car. Oh, here we go. There's a better car. I'd rather take this car, to be honest. But I think we've got other stuff up there, so. We'll go up and take a look and see what we can find. Yes. Oh. So yeah, um... What else am I supposed to say? Oh, it's another radio. Yeah, it's another radio. What the hell? Alright, cool. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, <laughs> you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever, and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or... Heck, childish even? There's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was, and she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't
didn't put in the work, I don't know, but, well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Matt. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Mm. Wow. Bit of bit of truth in part right there. God damn. He misses someone kindly and now he let her go. Oh. Wow. Can't go on blank spelling about love. God damn. Alright. Enough of that now, let's just keep going. <laughs> now there's coal mine guys. Um Ah uh, yes. Um I don't know whether I've got this, but I will check. Because I do remember little bits and pieces about this place and um, and what's in here or what's not. So we'll just go take a look, see if I'm if it's true or not. See if I haven't. Oh come on, seriously, don't stop there, Alan. God, yeah, this goes all the way up to the top. Yep, just as I thought. Okay, what is this one? Is that Mott and the Fairy? I don't know. Because, see, this is what I hate about the, the mouse. The mouse freaking... Mott and the Fairy, yeah. For Mott, spying on the writer and the fairy had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special. But Mott hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Mott had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight. But it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. So yeah, now you know the kidnapper's name. So that's Mott. Kind of, sh I should have just remembered that. But yeah, they didn't really explain his name until you get further into the store. Or if you actually did get this manuscript, I think. And I think that's the only manuscript it descri that describes his name. I don't know. Or yeah. I think. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other manuscripts that say his name, but we'll have to. We'll have to just keep going and find out. Don't crash. Seriously, because you... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my gosh. Because you have to keep the mouse as well directly forward, so then if it's this way, then the car can turn. It was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Yes, it is a museum. Look at this damn place. Wait, what? What? Oh. Okay. Sarah in the radio station. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Oh, yeah, it's not. There are, I don't know if there's any story to explain with Nightingale, I'm not sure, but that's why I'm collecting manuscripts, because manuscripts, guys, they give you the answers to why, or what, or what's going on. Wow. Really a view from here. Alright. What am I doing? Okay. Oh. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Fuck that, seriously. Wake! Where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? 
I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello! Ah! Wow. I'm gonna kill him! What a fucking prick. Okay. I had to get to Mirror Peak. So... I don't know how the hell he was sitting there for- Maybe closer than ever before. I guess our friend is still here. But anyway, I can't believe he was waiting a whole- I don't know how he waited a whole day for this- For this guy to come. Like, he should have expected that he wouldn't come, but I guess- I guess you can't always suspect everything. And I was wrong, guys, from the last episode when I said you don't really have to- Like, I thought you won't get the stuff back. Look at this. I still got my shit back. So, I kind of wasted a few stuff, which is fine to be honest, because I- I, doesn't matter guys because by the time this episode finishes that's it it's all gone again so I will have to waste a bit of it but anyway I'm gonna use the shoddy for a little while and how do I get out of here again I'm really dumb right now guys oh wait I'm an idiot oh, I'm an idiot I just I was just looking at it for a few seconds and then I was like okay how do I get out alright leave the building Radio, let's go. So it doesn't look like it's over yet. Yep, they're still here. Thomas Zane in love with Barbara Jagger. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Alright. Okay, how much do I have on my pistol, actually? Oh, I'm full ammo, so I don't really need to get anything. Seems like a battlefield, yep. Oh, I don't want to waste the shit. Don't you dare keep dropping shit, mate. Come on. Oh, reload, reload! Oh my god, that was so close. Yeah, no, nah, you're not chucking shit over there, mate. Oh, god. Reload. Oh, fuck you. Oh, man, I had the pinky on the wrong button. Seriously, come on. Alright, now we're getting into it. Oh my god! Blow it! Oh, fuck! Oh shit, that didn't work. I thought it would. But they do have more darkness, so I kinda understand that now. Blow it. Oh, jeez. Well, actually, oh, no, don't worry. It's only 41. We don't need to get run back for my ammo. Alright, flashbangs, cool. At least we still get them. Um, anything else? No. Alright, let's keep moving. Oh. Come on. I'm trying to slip. I can't believe I pressed the fire button. Seriously. Alright, there we go. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know why I'm a bit rusty today. Um, because I keep pressing on the fire button by accident every time. Oh, well. I'm not going in there. <laughs> I'm not going to go in while they're... Here, take a flare. Maybe a flare will fix you up. Or maybe... Are you serious? Oh, wow. They only, they only turn on once... That was a humongous fail. Where is it? Well, actually, that shuts them off, so I think... Stay down. No. Oh. All right. Um. So what? So we have to go all the way to Mirror Peak now. What the hell? Okay, then. Um. Radio. <laughs> fucking black tornado on the loose. 
The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. I see. I see what you want me to do. You want me to go all the way over there. Look at how many freaking... Holy shit. Oh. Over there. If I run, run over there. Oh, fuck, I suck at this. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Many more I can run over here. Let's go. Yeah. What else? Come on. You can't chop shit, mate. Alright. Let's just get ready to back out. Because I think there's going to be a couple... couple of fucking takens. Probably poltergeist, I think. If I remember correctly. Alright, what do we got here? Flag gun. Oh, nice. Alright, I've got a flag gun. I'll save that up. So there we go. Alright, now we go. Oh, wow. And the light goes off. Alright, that's all. Alright, we'll just run through all this shit. Because I think if I'm right. Yep, there it is. Holy shit. Oh my god. I don't know how. I'm oh god, they're quick too. Oh shit. Perfect. Over. Oh shit. Yeah, suck it. Yeah, they're not gonna come. Yeah, get back, get back to your little hidey spots, you assholes. Look at them, look at them retreat. Look at these assholes retreat. Bunch of pussies. All right. Let's see. Oh god, they're here, aren't they? I think my, I think I pissed them off a little bit. Holy shit. Get back, assholes. Where's the other one? Let's try another one. Yeah, let's try another one. Oh, that one, there has to be one asshole that sits in a cord and just waiting for me. I'm just going to check if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's a good amount of shit over here. Probably just out of my batteries, but hey, it's still good enough. Right, well, that's the end of, that's the end of all that. Oh, okay. Trust no one in the dark, well obviously. I mean you don't wanna to talk to a fucking dark creep who's just says shit or just say shit, just any random thing that they want. And there's a sweet red chair. I think the coffee was usually on that. Alright, follow. Alright, let's see what that one is. Wake touched by the dog haven't I played that one? I swear to god I played that one. What is it exactly? It has to be something else. Is it really that one? Guys, please remind me. Like, no. Please let me know if I played this one, because I swear to God, I've seen this one. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead no, thing. this is different. Okay. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Yeah, because I keep thinking that I'm playing the same one all over again, but I think it will take you to the new one. Like, it'll take you to the one that you've just got recently, I believe. I hope that I haven't repeated any, guys. So just let me know if I did, and I'll try and avoid that. Oh my... Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, like... God. How is it... 
How is it holding on like that? It would have, it would have went through the fence. So something's holding that. God damn. All right, battery's full. Cool. We need a demo. Turn that gate up. All right. Anything else in here? Nope. Of course. Of course, the lights have to go off. Oh well. Nice small flashbangs. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. Really? Thanks for telling us that then. Okay, I probably don't want to go exploring over there. Um, oh, well, hello. Another one. Come on. I saw you. You don't have to play. There you go. There's no point playing hide and go seek if I already know where you are. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, get, get fucking flayed, you bitch. Oh man, look, there's still another. Oh my god, really? I stopped. Throwing shit. Fuck sake. Holy shit, you scared the hell out of me. Stop! Fuck you, asshole. Stop throwing shit. Fuck. Yeah, right. Don't you dare. Yeah, come in. Oh, your dog is not off yet. Neither is he. God, stop. Alright, just need this one now. Just wanna wait for it to recharge a bit. I think it'll be fine. Look at how much ammo I've wasted on this one on the on this whole group. That was a freaking two giants and three regular fuckers. I don't know what to call them. Giant takens and takens? I don't know. Should I just go like that? I just don't even know anymore. Uh well, hello there. I just need to get to you now. Oh, hang on. Have I been up there? I don't know if, like, that's something I've missed, or... Oh, that's nothing. Okay, never mind. That's leading back to the place. Alright, but no, we found, um... We found coffee and... And a graffiti chest. So we'll go look... We'll go to the chest first. See what goodies it's gonna give me today, and then we'll go get that coffee, which is just over there. Ooh, we're going in the back cave. Oh, there it is. What do we got? Flashbangs! Nice. Need more of them. Oh, yep, of course. Of course. Of course! Oh, freaking course! And I'm almost out of ammo, so you know what? I don't think I'll be fine. Oh, fuck off. Stay back, man. Yeah, nah. I don't want to fight while I'm almost out of ammo. That's for sure. God damn you. Oh, that's such a troll. Seriously. What the fuck? Oh, should I really bother getting that coffee, guys? No, fuck that. Alright, you know where the coffee is. You can get it. I'm not interested in the coffee. Okay? You know where it is, guys. Look, there it is. Right up there. You just need to go up there and get it. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Oh yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you were meant to do it. Oh, yes. I will love to take that. Pump action shotgun. So there we go. It's a bit weak, but it helps a lot. So I'd definitely take it. I don't know. Oh, shit. I'm trying to go over here just to check to see if there's anything different. Oh, 
Oh, that's just to another way. Alright, well, I'll just go this way anyway. Just for the hell of it. Yeah, I don't care. I don't want to waste my time here. I don't want to waste ammo. Actually, I'll turn on this light up here. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, 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 the, shotgun. the shotgun's awesome. The amount of ammo you get is awesome, but when it comes to when it comes to doing that, then yeah, I'd definitely take it. Whoa. Seriously? Oh, well, you know what? Bring it on, all of you. Bring it on. Come on. Come closer. Cause you know what? I'll take care of you, no problem. Right, thunder and lightning. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Fucking big son of a bitch. Fucking like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. That's for an achievement of Kate, in case you guys want to get it. Just have flashbangs and just... Just fucking flash them right there. Get them all together though, because the radius of the flashbangs is not that. It's quite decent, but not fully decent. So, watching trees fall. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Hmm, who knows? And notice that we're in a graveyard too. Great. Favorite. Great place to come to. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's right. These are new enemies. Seriously. See, he's like the boss. We have to fight him like how he is. And yes, he's got a lot of freaking darkness around him, so. Oh, God. I want to wait till he gets closer, actually. I'm gonna do something. Yeah, that's that's it. That's all I needed to do, guys. Don't bother trying to waste your time against him. Just fucking use your flashbang. Just bring him close, use your flashbang, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Don't even bother wasting your ammo with this guy, because this guy can take up your ammo. Alright. Getting there, guys. We're almost. Oh, we're at the 30 minute mark again. Jeez Louise. Um, oh, we might actually stop here. Yeah, we'll stop here. This is, this is actually a good one. Alright, well, anyway, guys, that's it. We're stopping there, unfortunately, because, yes, this is another area we're going into. So, um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I think this might be the next episode, will be the last episode, I think, of episode 3. I don't know. It depends on how close we get. If not, then it'll be the after, the after that. But yeah. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Alan Wake. Goodbye, guys.